Hi, this is the Change and Grow Wellness Show, the show for you, the business professional who wants to live a healthier, happier life with increased energy and productivity. I'm Jackie Grant and I'm your host. And today we're talking about how and why to man manage stress. Well, we've got Jeanette White on today and Jeanette is the founder of Wolf and Forest Reflexology. She's a clinical reflexologist. We'll find out a bit more about that in a bit. And she focuses on stress, sleep and menopause within her practice. Welcome, Jeanette. Thank you, Jackie. It's good to be here. Hi, everybody. Brilliant, Jeanette. Hello. So, Jeanette. Yes. Tell us a little bit about you and how you started to do what you do. And I'm really, I'm really intrigued about clinical reflexologists because I've never really heard of that. So it'd be good if you told us a bit about that. Yeah, sure. Well, oh, how I started to do it is a bit of a long story, but um, I have an older brother who has autism, um, ADD, uh, mild cognitive impairment and epilepsy. And when our mum passed away very peacefully at 90, I took over um, his his guardianship is the best way to put it. Okay. And at the time, this was in 2017, I was... Um, traveling the world as a luxury hotel inspector so really quite different to what i'm doing yes. now and i st i'd started studying reflexology um as something to do sort of part time and i realized that with my brother with alexander um i couldn't carry on traveling the world i needed to be in the uk even though he lives in guildford and i live in london so I carried on with the studies to be clinical reflexologist. And in August this year, rather than going part time, I went full time. So mm. um, rather than carrying on part time, I decided to set myself up full time um, here in Leighton in the Arbeit Studios. And clinical reflexology is the highest level of reflexology. So it's to do with the level of study. So we study a lot of um, anatomy and physiology. I, I would show you my book, but I'm actually using it to prop up my laptop. To get <laughs> it. Books, I've got books. They're all this thick, basically. Mm -hmm. It's the level of studying um, that we do, which is the highest level. So that's how, that's how I am. I got to where I am today, how I became a clinical reflexologist. And I have to say, I love it. It's a world away from the luxury of five star hotels and international travel. But it's it's just so much more meaningful. It's it's unbelievable. So did you do things like the hotel inspector? You know, the one on TV. Well, <laughs> differently. So we did we were anonymous <laughs> inspectors and we didn't swear at our clients. <laughs> We saw it more as a partnership with them rather than us going in and telling them they were rubbish. And also they were five, they're five stars, so most of them weren't rubbish anyway. Most oh, of them. brilliant. That's great. So, Jeanette, we're talking about stress. So yeah. tell, tell me a little bit about what is stress, just to give our um, audience that knowledge and background yeah. of what is stress. Well, first of all, stress isn't always a bad thing. So we need a bit of stress sometimes to get us going. If we've got special projects on, it can give us that impetus to get things done. It gives us that urgency. Mm. The problem is in today's world, though, a lot of people are living constantly stressed, and that's doing a lot of damage short term, but also long term as well. Yeah. Yeah. So stress is our body's response to being under attack or under threat. Mm. So Imagine back in the old caveman days, um, you'd be out picking a few berries for the family. You turn around, there's a stegosaurus behind you. Yeah. And your body immediately it releases hormones. And those hormones, they get your um, heart pumping. They give you short, shallow breaths. They get blood pumping to your muscles. Mm. And that's great. It means you can get away. They pump yeah. sugar into you. And this is one of the key things people don't realize. When we're mm. stressed, sugar floods our bodies yeah. and that's great to get away from the stegosaurus but if we're getting stressed because we pick up our phones and we're on twitter and we're seeing you know someone's got a different political view and it makes us angry yeah or someone this and it makes us angry or that that's not healthy because whilst mm. 
our heart rate and our muscles and our lungs are working hard. We've got other systems that are shutting down because yeah. they're not urgent when the stegosaurus is chasing us. Mm. So our digestive system starts to sh slow down. We don't need to digest food if we're running. Exactly. And the problem is mm. we're not digesting. So long-term gastrointestinal um, problems, diabetes from flooding yeah. our bodies with sugar is a huge thing. Obesity is a mm. huge symptom of stress. Mm. Um, our reproductive systems, we don't need any... Um, romance if we're running <laughs> away from the forest, you know, there's no time for it not even a quickie on the run there's no time <laughs> for it so that's why a lot of people are finding that fertility is an issue for them is because yeah. they're stressed. and we'll come back to that in a moment immunity so people like me i have arthritis yeah. and my arthritis um is linked to the immunity so uh, we don't need immunity when we're running away from danger. Exactly. So that can also switch down. Yeah. Our, we don't need to go to sleep if we're running away from danger. So our exactly. melatonin is infect, uh, affected. But then a lot of these have, have like, it's like a cyclical effect. So if I'm not sleeping because I'm stressed, I get stressed and then I don't sleep. Yeah. And you see it goes on and on and on. Exactly. With, if I'm wanting, I'm not, you'll be pleased to know, but if I was wanting to have a baby mm. and I was having fertility issues because of stress, well, that would stress me, which then has the knock on effect of making them worse. So that's stress, Jackie. Exactly. <laughs> All the things I would have said, Jeanette. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, even even your alarm waking you up, even over exercising, there's all these things that actually yeah. people don't actually realise. You know, watching the news, you know, all these things are stress. You know, really? and yeah, and also I, mean, I, this, I feel we're on. passing our stress on to our kids at the moment. So I remember when I was sort of young, I wasn't, I I had no idea really what was going on in the world because I was too busy playing, mm. but now are much more engaged they're much more socially engaged which is a really great thing mm. so we have to balance it because they're also picking up some of our worries from us as well mm. so mm. people who are much more stressed at an earlier age than they were you know when i was growing up back in the back in the 70s mm. maybe maybe the 60s as well i can't remember <laughs> So, I mean, Jeanette, there's so many different causes of stress. And, and I mean, yeah. even even people's work, their environment, you know, all these other other yeah. things can kind of impact and, and cause people people stress. And like yeah. you said, you know, it impacts on the body in so many different ways yeah. that, you know, people don't actually realise. And, you know, it's like some sometimes it's, it's a perceived unperceived stress that people are under as well yes you know, like new job moving you know all these things having a new baby yeah. you know all these things kind of impact on you uh, as well That's so right. tell tell me some of the things that people could be doing in terms of to you know kind of reduce that well, you mentioned exercise earlier as, as something that can be stressful and it and it it can, but physical activity is great for actually helping manage your stress. Um mm -hmm. when it becomes stressful, for example, is when you, you know, the first of January you say, I'm gonna run a mile every day mm. and you're still that potato on the couch mm. and, uh, and you're not going to run a mile every day so after a week and maybe you've run you know a few yards here and there or a few meters here and there mm. that's stressful because you're putting an unrealistic expectation onto yourself yes however get to something that i've done um i guess it was since oct september october is I stop taking the bus and I walk into uh, the reflexology studio and it's 20 minutes here and 20 minutes back. Mm. 20 minutes each way is incredible for me. I can empty the nonsense in my head that I don't need in there, mm. make plans, I'm breathing mm. fairly fresh air. I mean, this is Leighton, you know, <laughs> but, yeah. love, but, you know, it's still a little bit fresh. Yeah, yeah. Um, swimming three days a week and these aren't hard things yeah 
but they're easy things they're easy things to do and they really make a difference so physical exercise and i think one of the key thing or, and actually linked in sorry with physical exercise as well as nutrition mm. um, and that's something i'm hoping to learn about from from a few experts i know jackie <laughs> <laughs> nutrition can really help with stress and make a difference for me one of the number one things we have to do is look at what is causing our stress and we have to confront it yeah exactly if, if we're in debt if we we have crippling debts which so many people do in the country they're not going to disappear they're not going to go away mm. So it's going to citizens' advice, for example, and saying, you know, I I don't know what to do, mm -hmm. and asking for help and getting the help, and the help is there, and that help might be that you have to declare bankruptcy, mm -hmm. but then you've done it. You've you know, do you know what I mean? You've sorted it. You've you've it's done, and then you start with a a, a blank slate. And I think that's the hardest thing to do. If you're in a relationship and that relationship isn't working, you know, you, you used to be in love deeply, but now neither of you are, but you're just carrying on out of habit. It's just going to get worse and worse. And that's a very mm. stressful situation. Exactly. So tackling the problem um, is a key one. Therapies, obviously reflexology, goodness me. Where's my, where are my <laughs> feet they're not they're not with <laughs> out of reach um reflexology has been shown that it um improves the quality of sleep it can improve your mood it mm. provides deep relaxation mm. and also it gives you real feelings of well-being mm. and those it, they sound like really oh it's a bit woo woo it's a bit meh but it's actually not because if you're sleeping better and you feel better yeah. emotionally if you're relaxed your body's relaxed you are in a much better position to be able to handle stressful situations mm. and also you can you can leave a, a treatment with a clearer head that you can sit down the next morning and do some planning as how you're going to change mm. to get away from the stress. Mm. Definitely. I mean, yeah. a couple of things that you said as well. I mean, even when you were talking about walking, it's the whole thing of having that light, you know, as you're, walk, you're walking yeah. is another thing that can like kind of help, you know, you know, it's really good to get at least 30 minutes outside, yes. you know, a day. Definitely. Especially, you know, without sunglasses, although we don't need them right now. Um, but, no. <laughs> but, but you know, just just having that as part of your day. And also, you know, you touched on yeah. sleep. Sleep is really important because, but yeah. it's also, you know, making sure that you've got a regular sleep time. Do you know what Absolutely. I mean? absolutely having a, a good sleep pattern is the most important thing mm. we, all, we all even even old birds like me you know we like mm. the odd occasional late night i'm going to have mm. a late night tomorrow night i'm going to a concert mm. but the, rest of the time i try and have the same hours for waking up going to bed and i try to get nine hours in bed because that gives me half an hour to get to sleep mm. and um, it gives me, you know, five minutes to get up and go to the loo, which I will do once in the middle of the night because mm. I'm five years old. And <laughs> um, and it just gives me a little bit of leeway. So it takes the stress away rather than mm. like planning eight hours in bed to get eight hours sleep is stressful. Mm. If mm. I plan nine hours, um, then I'll get eight hours sleep. Yeah, and kind, of, and kind of going back to the sleep, it's like, you know, making sure that you kind of have that power down hours that all the lights are off you know you're off the laptop you're off the phones you Definitely. know you haven't you haven't got the phone next to the bed that you dive up in the morning <laughs> picking it up and and checking it at, and that's the first thing because that actually causes stress so actually you know reducing the amount of time you have on you know those devices it mm. is and interestingly my my brother when he um first developed um the epilepsy which was in his 50s one of the most useful things his doctor said to him was before going to bed 
read a book for an hour um because my brother's autistic he's quite good at following orders yeah so he, every night he goes to bed and he reads not not on a kindle but a proper book for yeah, an hour exactly. and that's really good because it gets he's not really a gadget person anyway but that helps his his body to wind down it's good for memory as well which is why mm. his doctor recommended it mm. and they think possibly possibly i think there's studies into looking at how it can help with alzheimer's as well mm. but also de-stressing us and sort of giving us a positive impact too it's a really good really good um idea jackie mm, mm. yeah definitely and you know and also yeah just giving yourself that kind of time maybe you know for a bit of like breathing or even meditation whichever you find easier you know because some people find it difficult to meditate so just doing a few deep breathings that, that can help as well to yeah. reduce stress. i have a lovely one can i do a deep breathing exercise do we have go time? ahead go ahead my dear I have to my glasses on. <laughs> so and i want everyone watching i can see a couple of my friends on there i think i can see jeanette on there the other jeanette i can see peter's there watching us i want you to do this along when we breathe in we breathe in through the nose when we breathe out, we breathe out through the mouth. And when we do it, I want you to imagine breathing in beautiful, clean, purifying air and breathing out all of the negativity from the day. And when we do it, we're going to breathe in for four and out for eight. So in and release. I was showing off that I can breathe out for 14. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking, I thought you said eight, and I'm like, she's counting, she's still counting, and I'm still breathing out. <laughs> this is a really good one. If you're in a stressful situation, to do that, do it three times to help yourself calm down. Don't do it in someone's face. So if you've got someone there that's annoying, you don't go, hold on. <laughs> because that's going to escalate it yeah. Try and get somewhere you can do that but also when you lay down at night you need to keep your chest open so not all scrunched yeah. up and open and do that as much as you can do if it becomes difficult then stop mm. but the more you do it and that's and i believe that that breathing exercise comes from um yoga from the yoga world I'm yeah really i mean there's so many different ones i mean the one that i use with my clients is a five five seven so breathe oh, in for five hold five and then breathe out for seven so yeah just slightly different why are you gotta have your glasses off love <laughs> breathe i don't know <laughs> it's so you can see that i really am going into the <laughs> i think i'm one of those you know those 1970s se sexy secretary secretaries when they take their glasses off and they go hi <laughs> that's what I'm doing. okay they're back on <laughs> brilliant brilliant so Jeanette so tell us yes. tell us about a client that you've had because you you specifically work with clients around stress so tell us about yeah. you know a little case study about a client that you've had that's come with come over to you and you know had stress as yeah. something that they've, they've had to overcome and what have you done? Oh, that's difficult without, because obviously confidentiality. Yeah, yeah but not I, saying the person's name, obviously. No, 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 I know, and I wouldn't want the person <laughs> to recognize themselves as well if they were if they were watching. I feel, I'm not going to look at the list now to see who is watching, but um, <laughs> yeah, I had somebody who was getting very stressed um and very anxious and i guess i mean i they had the reflexology which really helped them so that helped them um deal with a lot of the physical symptoms as well so sort of calming down their breathing because of the anxiety it can really get you know your heart pumping mm, mm. Um, horrible, horrible you know when you get like the pins and needles in your yeah. hands the yeah. horrible feeling of panic and the butterflies in your stomach mm. um, Technology certainly helped with that as well as with their mood but really it part of it 
what I do and I think all therapists do is we help people to look at their lives look at what's going on and we you know we encourage for example if I, if I had a client and I felt that a different type of therapy would suit them I would recommend they'd see a different therapist I did mm. have somebody who had um he, he had painful feet and I couldn't help his painful feet as because that's not what reflexology does or yeah. even on yeah. the feet yeah um so straight away it was you know see a podiatrist that's your first your first mm. starting point. Mm. and same with um stress is maybe you know if people can't afford to to have two treatments like see see two different types of therapists i might say to them well you know for the next three months spend your money at this therapist mm. so talking therapies is something that is free to everybody and there are different things within talking therapies so there's traditional psychoanalysis but also that it's something called cognitive behavioral therapy mm. <laughs> and if it's used for the right the right at the right time it can really help people change the way they think so i had mm. a client recommended did a self referral so in Waltham Forest, you can, if you literally search talking therapies and you can self-refer yourself if you have issues that you need to talk to another human being about. Mm -hmm. They do have a habit of always saying CBT. They like mm -hmm. to always do CBT because it's, pro it's probably the cheapest. I don't know. Um, however, very often it is it is the most useful as well. Um, but if you don't think CBT is right, you can push and say which whichever one you want. We have group as well as individual therapies in um, Waltham Forest. So for this person, I'd recommended that they also have some talking therapies mm. and they were able to afford both. So they mm. could see me also have talking therapies as well and mm. really help really getting talking through the issues, coming into me for deep relaxation, mm. really, really helped them. Sadly, they don't come back anymore, but that's because they exactly. don't feel the need for it. So some people come to reflexology, they like to come once a month, once every couple of weeks, just for the relaxation. And other people come to target a certain situation in their lives. Mm. Mm. And mm. it's the same with Reiki now as well. And it's the same with Reiki. Mm. So a lot of people with Reiki like to come once a month for a burst of Reiki energy mm. and other, you know, just to target something. Brilliant. So, Jeanette, where can people find you? You can find, I, I was going to make a joke there, but I couldn't think of a joke. You can <laughs> find me in Leighton. Um, the best way to get in touch is via my website, which is walthamforestreflexology.com. Um, and I'm based in Leighton. I'm actually based in the Arbeit Studios in Leighton, which is a collective of um different small independent local businesses and in fact i think we are now um we have a, a social enterprise that goes on in here but for the actual businesses the 12 of us we are now all female-led local businesses which is extraordinary mm. i know i'm i'm often told by my friend peter that francis road in Leighton has the highest number of um female business own owners in terms of concentration in one road oh wow i think we could we we are up there with them in this one building oh, so what used to be the old morrisons if anyone remembers it that was opposite tesco's at baker's arms and it's mm. now been um turned into these amazing studios it's very cool nearly everyone else is um in the fashion business so i'm surrounded by designers which is ultra <laughs> because you know i'm not a designer you can tell <laughs> so, um but not very well <laughs> and uh yeah and or people can give give me um drop me an email walsam forest reflexology at aol.com brilliant yeah thank you great. jeanette so well, jeanette you. what final words have you got to tell us about you know how to manage stress one if you do one thing it's this is i want you to imagine yourself yourself feel yourself where you are now what you've got in front of you and then try and step yourself back 
So step out into the street and look inside at yourself and see everything else that's around. Then maybe step onto a building. This is in your mind, obviously, and look and see everything else that's around you. Then I want you to float up in the sky and get down. And now you're looking at a far bigger area. Maybe if you're in London, you're looking at the whole of London and all of the people. And then step back, step back into the universe. You're looking at the UK, step all the way back. You're looking at the world. And if you take that huge problem that seems so overwhelming and you try and find it when you're looking at our planet and it's that size, it helps you to put into perspective. We are here for the shortest time. We can't spend our time worrying. We mm. can't spend our time stressed. We have to spend our time living because we don't have a lot of it. We don't know how much we have. So that's my last few words. That and book a reflexology treatment with me. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you, Jeanette. So, guys, that's the end of the show today. Thank you, Jeanette, for coming on and talking Thank to you. us about stress today. And I'll be back on the show next week with some more um, helpful hints for you guys. I'll be watching, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.